Hey guys, it's Frozen Joe, and I'm here to do another fig video review. Guys, this little tree right in front of us here, this tiny little guy, that is Scott's Black. It's also known as LSU Scott's Black. I believe they're synonyms for the same fig. It was traded to me as Scott's Black, so that's just what I'm referring to it as. Again, I believe it is the same as LSU Scott's Black. Now guys, uh, if memory serves me right, I believe I planted this last year in 2013 in the spring. It was either 2013 or, you know, it may have been 2012. After a while, like all the different fig trees, when you get them and all that kind of seems to just blur together. Now that I think about it, it may have been 2012 that I got this as a cutting that I rooted in the spring and I planted here. And last year we had a pretty hard frost in December and this guy got, uh, got set back by the frost pretty good but it's come back nice from it. My experience with this tree so far is that it's a healthy tree. The foliage always looks nice and healthy and um, it looks good all the time. It always looks good. It's always putting out new leaves but it just grows slowly and it's small so far. This is the biggest it's been. It got about I don't know, got about up to here last year when the frost kicked in and killed it back and now this year it's come back up and it's surpassed that. So I think it should keep growing, you know, and, and get some decent size to it. This is a tough spot. I've planted several different trees. This is like the third tree in this spot and the other two have died and I know I have nematodes pretty bad in this spot. So it may not normally be stunted like this. It may just be a function of where it's planted. But it's a survivor. It's tough. It looks healthy. It's a beautiful looking tree. It's just been small and slow growing. And again, that just may be because of the location that it's in. Leaves, if you can see. Yeah, something like that there. They seem to be mostly uh, three or five lobed. See this? This is looking pretty representative here. And, you know, even through the heat of the summer here, it always stayed nice and green and tender along the tips. The buds stayed green and alive and kept just producing leaves. You know, healthy green leaves slowly over time. So I'd say it's a healthy plant. I'd say again, given the location it's in, um, you know, it's probably indicative this is a pretty healthy variety. Although for me, it's been slow growing. Now, it produced the first fruit ever for me just now. And again, this fruit is very small. I've seen online, I've seen um, pictures of Scott's Black and the fruit is larger than this. So I'm thinking it's just because it's such a young, small tree. That's the reason why the fruit is still small, and I would expect in the future for the fruit to be larger than this. But you can see it's, it's just barely the diameter of a quarter at its thickest part, pretty much, and um, has the eye doesn't really look open. I mean, maybe slightly open, but it almost looks like a small little black Madeira or something. This one fig right here. Let me cut this open, guys, and see what the inside looks like. Because the outside, I mean, it's small, but it's nice. It's like a purple color. Let's see what the inside looks like. Okay, there's the inside. It's kind of your typical you know, dark colored fig interior. That reddish kind of interior to it. Um, looks good. It's a small fig, but it looks like it's going to be a nice tasty fig. Let me give it a taste. That's quite nice. That's sweet. That's a very nice fig. It has good sweetness. The flavor, I mean, I just say it's that classic fig flavor. I'm not really picking up on too much else. It's just like it's a good fig flavor. It's very nice. It has good richness. It lingers in your mouth, the flavor. Mmm. That's a nice little fig. I like it. Um, that's definitely a good tasting fig right there. So, Scott's Black, this is just a small one. 
I'm hoping, hoping it gets some size. Every year I'm just going to uh, review the, each variety that I have is producing fruit, guys. So next year I'll review this again as it's larger, as it's making more fruit, and we can compare how it's progressing. But for its first fig, even though it's small, very sweet and tasty, very nice. Very nice little fig. And I'd uh, really like to see this tree get bigger and do better. Now guys, besides this variety here, I have one new variety that I haven't reviewed yet this year that will definitely be producing fruit. And I have a couple of smaller ones, new, new ones that may or may not, depending on kind of when things go dormant this year. So you can expect to see at least one more video from me this year and maybe a couple more after that, guys. Hope you enjoy this video. It's Scott's Black, and I'll keep updating you guys on how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye.